Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another uh, video on the Observer Intelligence channel. My name is Hospital Yadi, and we're going to continue on where we left off last time. If you haven't watched the previous videos, we covered a lot of stuff in, in Plot the Express, including the Q, uh, distribution plot, violin plots, the heat maps, um, uh, the bubble chart, the line plot, um, some of the uh, scatter plots, box plots, and uh, also distribution plots. So if you haven't watched those uh, last uh, couple of videos in Plot the Express, uh, please uh, go back and watch those. I also have some videos on Seaborn that I've recorded. Uh, I highly recommend watching those videos too prior to continue on. But with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'd like to create a column uh, that defines the year of or the completion uh, year uh, for each uh, data based on filtering. So I'm going to do df.glock. And then what I like to do is do bracket and do uh, this. And also I'm going to put and, and do another parentheses here, make it kind of uh, look easy to understand. So what I want to do is uh, do df and I'd like to pass in uh, prop and loading, prop and loading. Uh, I want to say if prop and loading is greater than or equal to, for example, a thousand. Um, and I'd like to also copy and paste this guy here and put it right here. Okay. And say if prop and loading is less than, instead of greater than, less than or equal to, for example, uh, 1,500. Okay. If these two are, the, uh, if, if, two, if these two conditions are met, that I like to uh, create a column called uh, completed year, completed, completed year. This is the name of the column, completed year. And I like to say, um, call the, uh, you know, uh, uh, put 2016 in there. Okay. Um, so basically I'm, I'm, you know, you can, you can say uh, df.lock and put in uh, df prop and loading greater than uh, or equal to a thousand and prop and loading uh, less than or equal to 1500. Uh, the completed year would be 2016. I'm just making this up as I go. And, and, and basically, um, one thing that I like to say, you know, instead of like a lot of times, you know, if you, if you want to put or, you can put um, this function here uh, or, um, and it would it would also uh, work. But in this case, I'm interested in and. But for future reference, you can always do uh, or in there as well. So let's just copy and paste this four times. Um, here we go four times. And what I'd like to do is let's change this to 2017, 2018, and 2019. And let's just go ahead and change these to, uh, for example, 1501 to 2000. And then let's change this to 2001 to 2500. 2001 to 2500. And let's change this to 2500 or 2501 01 to 3000. Let's actually add one more 3000. Let's copy and paste this one more time. Let's go down here, paste it. Let's just change this to 3001 to 3500. 3500. And let's change this to 2020. 2020. If I run this, Let's look at um, DF. So it, it added a you know column uh, based on uh, prop and loading. So for example, prop and loading in this case um, is um, three thousand and twelve, since uh, three thousand and twelve is between um, it is right here at at the end between three thousand and one thirty five hundred. It assigned twenty twenty to it. Then next one is twenty seven seventy one. Since 2771 is uh, between 2,500 and 3,000, it assigned 2019. So, so we created this column. So now what I'd like to do is, I'd like to go ahead and create an animated plot, an animated, animated scatter plot, scatter plot. I'd like to, I'm interested to see the evolution of uh, prop and loading over time um, uh, in, in an animated fashion. So what I'd like to do now, let's do shift enter. 
let's go ahead and do px.scatter. We've done that before in the previous uh, lecture. And let's go ahead and define data frame is equal to df comma uh, x is equal to prop and loading, prop and loading. And let's go ahead and uh, define y is equal to eur. And um, let's do animation animation frame is equal to, I, I want to create an animation frame at the bottom based on completed year, which is the newly added column, the completed year right here. So completed underscore year, okay? And then we also have to uh, make sure we add the range uh, X uh, and range Y because um, we want to make sure uh, these ranges stay the same uh, throughout the animation. So with that range X, X is going to be prop and loading. So I want to define a range of 1000 to 3200. That's the range of my prop and loading comma. I'm going to go hit, hit enter to go down and I'm going to define range Y. Range Y is equal to uh, range Y is going to be my EUR. I want to define, for example, a range of one to 50, one to 50. Now, if I run this, there we go. So you can see here, uh, this is my animation. You can see at the bottom, it has this cool uh, feature that you can run to see the evolution of prop and loading uh, versus EUR over time. So one thing to note, you got 2016, 17, 18, 19, and 20, which are basically some of these stuff that I've defined here. And um, one thing to note here is that, you know, let's just play this. See, as you go towards 2016, you're pumping lower prop and loading. And as you go towards, you know, 2020, you know, you're pumping higher prop and loading. So uh, this is just one way of creating these, the, the, these kind of animation plots. Um, and, 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 you know, you can uh, plot whatever, whatever you're interested in over time. So this is pretty powerful. Uh, it took one line of code, just add the animation frame and also add the uh, range X and range Y. Make sure you add those to make sure they stay constant as you run those. If I didn't have these two, for example, arguments, if I didn't have these two arguments right here, if I run this, uh, what happens is when you run this, it, it, it doesn't work well. So please make sure you have the range X and range Y for your animation to work properly. If you like this video, like and share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. And we'll see you guys in the next video.